I'm delighted and my sisters and I are so happy that um, we were able to keep the collection together and to donate it to somewhere that would really appreciate it. Um, he took such joy in curating his collection. It was in many ways like his life work. So, you know, being able to keep it in one place now for, you know, the foreseeable future is brilliant. We're all so happy. Ronnie was a long-time friend of the library at the University of Galway and a tireless champion for Irish art and Irish literature, especially in the west of Ireland. His grandfather, Philip O'Gorman, was appointed by the acting librarian at the time, Professor Darcy Wentworth Thompson. Um, so that was in November 1887. He worked there until 1898 when he went on to open up a bookshop and then a thriving printing works, the Galway Printing Company, the output of which form part of the collection that is to be transferred. So the books that Philip would have worked with form part of our special collections, which Ronnie's own named collection will now join. So there's that nice circuitous um, element to, to this deposit, which, which I know meant a lot to Ronnie too. Ronnie O'Gorman was a man of huge insight, huge foresight uh, in establishing the advertiser, the sense of community that that developed for Galway and in Galway. Uh, it's a tremendous gift to all of the university community we had a lovely day here with Ronnie uh, earlier in the year, uh, a day that I remember and cherish, a day that had atmosphere, a day that had generosity, a day that had community, all of those things uh, that uh, uh, characterise Ronnie O'Gorman. Tell me, fwee, 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 though, it was a